Invincible Daughter Development Boutique Article I have traveled to the Dolua continent and have been living in the Starry Forest. Chen Shinga has been living with his daughter Chen Qingling. Always clamoring to find his mother, Chen Shinga could only deceive and persuade the outside world to be too dangerous. On this day, the great filial piety daughter intoxicated Chen Shinga and secretly left. When he woke up, there was an extra letter on the table, friend's book. Comprehensive Martial Arts Daughter goes down the mountain, blows me out as a peerless expert, keywords of the novel. Doluo Daughter goes down the mountain, blows me out as the peerless Doluo without a pop-up window, Doluo. Daughter goes down the mountain, blows me out as the peerless Doluo complete collection download, Doluo. Daughter goes down the mountain, blows me out as the peerless Doluo latest chapter reading. Chapter 1 Daughter runs away. Great filial piety. Cultivate your daughter. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 1 Daughter runs away. Great filial piety. Cultivate your daughter. Dolua Continent. Located in the heart of the starry forest, in a remote thatched cottage, halfway up the mountain with water, it is lush with greenery. Dad, I miss my mother, just tell me. Please. Chen Qingling blinked her eyes and pulled Chen Shinga's wrist to act coquettishly. Chen Shinga looked helpless, he couldn't even say that he didn't know who his own woman was. The graceful young girl Chen Qingling in front of me is the result of a woman who is confused and has never seen her before. As for how to know that Chen Qingling is his own biological flesh and blood. That was a night with a dark moon and a high wind. Chen Shinga heard a knock on the door and came out to see a baby girl in her swaddling clothes. He can't be wrong, as he has a lot of feces and urine, and his temperament and appearance resemble him. Sigh. Chen Shinga let out a deep sigh. It's not that I don't want to say it myself, but that I don't even know him. Chen Shinga gave a bitter smile and touched Chen Qingling's forehead, Qingling, I really don't know about your mother. Chen Qingling pouted and hugged her chest with both hands, Daddy, why don't you tell me? If you don't tell me again, I'll go find my own mother. Chen Qing stamped her feet spiritually, and as she grew older, she missed her mother more and more. However, her father kept blocking her and always evaded her with various reasons. It's not that it's too dangerous outside, or it's unpredictable. It's better to stay in a secluded thatched cottage and have a happy life. Clear and obedient, obedient, Chen Shinga advised helplessly, touching the back of his daughter's head. But he didn't notice that a hint of cunning flashed in Chen Qingling's eyes, and a bold idea popped up in his mind. How about getting drunk and collapsing dad? Escape and find your mother. Do whatever comes to mind. At night, for the first time, Chen Qingling allowed Chen Shinga to drink alcohol. Chen Shinga took a glass and drank it all in one gulp, ha ha ha, this wine is really strong. Daughter. What good news do you have to tell me? Chen Qingling's eyes dodged and she playfully stuck out her tongue. He 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 he, can't we just stop drinking without good things? Is it possible that dad doesn't want to drink? Chen Shinga was completely unaware and quickly waved his hand, no, 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 I haven't had any in two months. In order to intoxicate his father, Chen Qingling gritted her teeth and refilled the glass. Dad, if you drink it again, you must not drink it again for three months. Drinking too much can harm your health. I understand, I understand. After pouring several glasses in a row, Chen Shinga passed out with a black smug in his eyes. Chen Qingling reached out and patted his father's shoulder, Dad. Wake up. Seeing her drunk like mud, she wore a victorious smile on her face. Dad. I'm leaving. Before leaving, don't forget to send Chen Shinga back to bed. Five days later. Chen Shinga walked out of the thatched cottage as usual and picked up a basket of wood in the dense forest around him before returning. Ha! Huh. Where's Qingling girl? Chen Shinga put down a basket of wood and looked around but still couldn't see the trace of his daughter. 
I ran out to play again. This girl is really playful and not afraid of any trouble. Despite living steadily here for over a decade, Chen Shinga did not let down his guard. He doesn't believe that a large forest will have nothing. Chen Shinga saw the letters on the table in his spare time, and his heart thumped, with a sense of ominous anticipation enveloping him. Trembling, he picked up the letter and opened it, revealing the handwriting of Chin Qingling. Dad, don't think about Qingling. I just want to go out and see the world, and also find my mother. With my wisdom far surpassing that of my peers, I won't be able to find it if I don't believe it. Dad, don't worry, don't worry if you're clear and clear. Chen Shinga pinched the letter, his hands trembling, and finally closed his eyes and let out a long sigh. Alas, the female major is not useful. In fact, he had thought about going out to take a look outside, but he couldn't walk out of the thatched cottage for a mile. So much so that he doesn't even know what the outside world is like. Ding. The daughter cultivation system has been successfully activated, ding. Distribute user manual. Only a heavenly sound echoed in Chen Chinga's mind. He remained motionless. After a while, there was a sudden reaction. Chen Xing's song is like crying without tears. Twelve whole years. He doesn't even know how these twelve years have been spent. Fortunately, God opened a door for him, and although it was closed again, at least he didn't live alone. Immediately, Chen Xing's mind came to mind about the system user manual. After reading the user manual, I have a clear understanding of the system's function. Cultivate your daughter. What is missing for the daughter, what is given? The reward obtained from check that I N can only be used by the daughter. However, if the daughter's strength improves, she will be fed back ten times to Chinchinga. That is to say, the stronger the daughter, the stronger he becomes. Ding! Does the host perform daily check that I N? Sign in. Congratulations to the owner for successfully signing in and obtaining the Awakening Stone, Awakening Stone. After use, it can awaken the martial soul. Ah! Awakening Stone. Awakening martial soul. Chen Sheng's song was bewildered. His pupils suddenly shrank, and he understood what kind of world he was in. I have traveled to the Dolua continent. So where am I? Unable to understand, Chen Shinga simply gave up. The top priority is what is the situation with his own daughter Chen Qingling. View the Qingling panel. Name. Chen Qingling, Martial Soul. Unawakened, Age. 12, Body. Healthy Chen Sheng's heart hanging in song relaxed. It's okay, he's afraid his daughter might make mistakes. Friendly Reminder. If the subject's life is in danger, an alarm will be issued to remind them. With a system alarm reminder, Chen Xinga is more at ease and less worried about his daughter's safety. Chen Qingling walked for five and a half days, leaving the Star Forest without any danger. During this time, she did not encounter any soul beasts, as if she had been blessed by the goddess of luck. Looking at the outside world, Chen Qingling's face was filled with a smile, and her hands unconsciously spread out. This is the outside world, it's so beautiful. Then Chen Qingling pouted and complained. I haven't encountered any danger along the way, it's completely different from the external danger that Dad always talks about. Humph. Dad, you big scammer. You've deceived me so hard. As soon as Chen Xinga sat down in the thatched cottage, he suddenly sneezed. Who is speaking ill of me? Yi Qingling hummed a tune and walked leisurely forward. I don't know how long it has been. Twenty meters ahead of Chin Qingling, Ning Rongrong and Kendo Chinchin walked side by side. Suddenly, Chinchin noticed something and looked up. Strange. What's wrong with Grandpa Jian? What's strange about him? There is a little girl twenty meters further ahead. Ah. Little girl. This is a treacherous starry forest, filled with soul beasts. 
They came to the Star Forest purely because Ning Rongrong acted coquettishly and wanted to go and see it, but unfortunately came here to obtain the Soul Ring. And how could a little girl appear in such a place? She couldn't figure it out, and the dust around her couldn't figure it out. Quickly, the two sides met and Chen Qingling saw Ning Rongrong. Wearing a simple white short skirt, with meteor length short hair, delicate skin like lychees, a watery face, and a height of about 1.45 meters, the figure is very symmetrical, and the temperament is noble and extraordinary. I can't tell it's a six dot year dot old child at all. End of this chapter. Chapter 2 Awakening Martial Soul Butterfly, the Goddess of Light Congenital Full Soul Power You are listening at Novel Full dot Audio Chapter 2 Awakening Martial Soul Butterfly, the Goddess of Light Congenital Full Soul Power Chin Xin, on the other hand, is dressed in a snow dot white robe that does not stain the dust. Her beard and hair are all white, and her long silver hair is neatly combed behind her back. She has an ancient and simple appearance, and her face is as delicate as a baby's. Wow! Chen Qingling is like a bumpkin from the countryside, with bright eyes. The scene fell into a brief tranquility, and Ning Rongrong took the lead in asking. Big sister, why are you here alone? Did you get lost with your parents? Ah! I don't have. Uh, no, I ran away from home. I want to find my mother. Chen Qingling thought for a moment and corrected. Run away from home. Running away from home to the starry forest. This. This is too outrageous, isn't it? Big sister, what's your name? I'll take you home. It's too dangerous for you to be alone here. Chen Qingling shook her head and pouted, My name is Chen Qingling. I don't want to go home. I finally managed to sneak out. I won't go back until I find my mother. This. Do you know who your mother is? Chen Qingling shook her head and said, I don't know, that's why I want to find my mother. A sentence silenced Ning Rongrong completely. I don't know who my mother is, finding her is undoubtedly searching for a needle in a haystack. Even if it is to activate the power of the Seven Treasures Glass Sect, it may not be possible to find it. After all, even her own mother doesn't know who it is, and it's uncertain whether her mother knows her own child. Okay. Ning Rongrong helplessly covered his forehead, and the older sister in front of him asked three questions without knowing. Don't your dad know either? My dad doesn't know. So how did you get here? Ning Rongrong. You wouldn't have been abducted, would you? Chen Qingling suddenly became unhappy and said, What are you saying? My dad is the best, he's pulling me up with a bunch of shit and urine. Regarding my mother's matter. My dad said it was done by an irresponsible woman, and I became confused. Ning Rongrong fell silent. I didn't expect Chen Qingling, who looked beautiful in front of me, to be a little girl with a difficult fate. Which heartless woman did it on earth? That's too much. She never expected such a magical thing to happen. If she hadn't seen it with her own eyes, she wouldn't have believed that such a thing would have happened. Since that's the case, why don't you come with me, Qingling? Ah. Chen Qingling, who was innocent and innocent, felt a little confused. I, why should I go with you? You're not my mother. Ning Rongrong's mouth twitched and his forehead was lined with black lines. What kind of nonsense is this guy talking about? Cough cough. Chen Exian, who has always been unable to resist laughter, let out a light smile for the first time. Girl, although you are lucky and lucky enough to stay in the star forest for a few days, it doesn't mean that heaven will always favor you. Starry forest. So. My dad and I have been living here all along. Ah. What are you talking about? You've been living here all along. Ning Rongrong couldn't understand and his expression was greatly shocked. What kind of family? Living in the starry forest. Crazy. 
Ning Rongrong doubted whether he had heard it wrong. After all, what is the Star Forest? No one in the Soul Master realm knows no one knows. So your dad should be very impressive, right? Which living Dolua is he? Chen Qingling's eyes rolled around a few times and said, My dad is really amazing. There's never anything that can stump him. Well. My dad never told me, I don't know. Okay, what is your martial soul? You can't even know what your martial soul is, can you? Martial soul. Strange knowledge points have increased. Suddenly, Chen Qingling felt a heavy weight in her pocket and instinctively reached out to take out a stone. Ha! Huh. I don't remember carrying stones on me, do I? Immediately after, a beam of light burst out from the awakening stone, awakening Chen Qingling's martial soul. A beautiful and moving blue butterfly hangs high, floating above Chen Qingling's head. The color of the front end of the blue butterfly wings constantly changes, like a halo. Ning Rongrong, who has seen a lot and knowledge, was shocked by Chen Qingling's actions. As the Pearl of the Seven Treasures glass sect, she has seen various things, but has never seen a martial soul awakened with just an inconspicuous stone. What kind of martial soul are you? Hmm it seems to be called the Butterfly of the Light Goddess. Ning Rongrong. She never expected to meet someone in the Star Forest, a rare brand new martial soul. What kind of bad luck did I have? Qin Xin's eyes were deep and he gave Qin Qingling a deep glance. I just don't know what level her innate soul power is. What level of innate soul power are you at? Um. Let me feel it. Qin Qingling closed her eyes and carefully felt it. It seems to have innate soul power. Ning Rongrong received 10,000 critical hits. She can't understand. How could a little girl who doesn't understand anything have innate soul power? Ning Rongrong envies her real name. Is it innate full of soul power? Qin Xin murmured to herself, a genius with extraordinary talent who couldn't resist, and then threw an olive branch at Qin Qingling. Girl, would you like to follow me? Qin Qingling blinked and said, What are we doing with you? You're not my dad. Chen Xinla chuckled and said, Of course I'm not your father, but I can be your master. Master. Girl, it's not easy for you to talk to your mother if you don't understand anything. With my master here, I can protect you. You should know that I am the elder of the Seven Treasures Glass sect and also a living title Doluo. Chen Qingling blinked her clear and innocent eyes and said, Would it be easier for you to find my mother when you become my master? It's like having one more person and one more effort. Moreover, with the name, Seven Treasures of Glass Sect, I can make more people look for your mother. Okay. Chen Qingling was moved and immediately bowed to Chen Xin, hello master. Chen Xian's eyelids twitched and his face was filled with a smile, okay, okay. My good disciple. As for Ning Rongrong, he transformed into a large light bulb and was left to air. Grandpa Sword. What's wrong, Rome Rome? You're biased. Where is there? I treat everyone equally. Master, help me find my mother. Chin Xin nodded with a smile and said, Okay, okay. You can't be in a hurry about finding your mother. When you return to the sect, I will entrust someone to search for your mother's whereabouts on Guangxin Wang. The urgent task now is to help you and Rongrong find suitable soul beasts and obtain your first soul ring. Ah! Chen Qingling couldn't understand what she was saying at all. Although she knew each one when they were taken apart, they became so unfamiliar when combined. Seeing that Chen Qingling was completely unaware of the knowledge points of Soul Master, Chen Xin walked and explained to her. After a while, Chen Qingling had a sudden realization on her face. So this world is so rich and colorful. Well, I have a new goal now. The first goal is to retrieve my mother, and the second goal is to become the most powerful soul master in the world. Chin Xin laughed heartily and touched Chin Qingling's little head, Okay, okay, I'm looking forward to that day. End of this chapter. Chapter 3
Tenfold Feedback Martial Soul Carefree Sword Slashing the Sky and Pulling Out Swordsmanship You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3 Tenfold Feedback Martial Soul Carefree Sword Slashing the Sky and Pulling Out Swordsmanship Delivery Through Air Shocked two people named Ronrong pouted, like a doormat. Since Grandpa Jian had Qingling, he hasn't been as good to himself as before. Sure enough, love will disappear, right? Just transfer it. Woo 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 woo. Ning Rongrong wanted to cry but couldn't cry. That's all for our idle talk. Qingling and Rongrong, follow me closely and don't get lost. Okay. Grandpa Jian treated me the best. Quickly, Chen Xian and his team found a soul beast suitable for Chen Qingling. A 300-year-old phoenix-tailed butterfly. Chen Qingling stared at the phoenix-tailed butterfly landing on the flower with curious eyes. Is this a soul beast? Yeah, how's it going? Does it feel magical? At first, just like you now, I was curious about soul beasts and often wondered why there were soul beasts in the world. Ning Rongrong had a proud and delicate expression on his face, patting his mediocre chest. Come on, Qingling's final strike is up to you to kill. Ah. Chen Qingling took the dagger handed by Qinxin and walked trembling to Feng Wei Butterfly, closing her eyes and forcefully stabbing it in. Pushi. The phoenix-tailed butterfly, which has been around for 300 years, has died and turned into a pale yellow soul ring. Qingling is now, absorbing the soul ring of the phoenix tail butterfly. Okay. Chen Qingling sat cross-legged with a graceful posture, gaining skills from Chin Qin's mouth and refining and absorbing the 300-year phoenix tail butterfly soul ring. How's it going? Chen Qingling smiled all over her face and said, I feel very good. I feel like there is endless power in my body. Qingling, what is your first soul skill? Ning Rongrong asked after him. Bright Butterfly Blade Chen Shinga, who is far away in the core area of the Starry Forest, constantly hears system prompts in his mind. Ding! Congratulations to the Master for awakening the martial soul of Chen Qingling, the Goddess of Light Butterfly. Ding! Congratulations to Master Chen Qingling for obtaining the first soul ring. Bright Butterfly Blade Ding! Trigger tenfold backfeeding. Ding. Congratulations to the master for awakening his martial soul. Xiao Yao Sword. Ding. Congratulations to the master for obtaining the divine bestowed soul ring. Heaven slaying and sword pulling technique. Ah. I can understand the awakening of the martial soul, but. How did Qing Ling obtain the first soul ring? Ding. Has the host opened the sky curtain to watch the every move of the training object Chin Qingling? Open. A screen the size of a television appeared in front of Chen Xinga. Above is a vivid display of Chen Qingling's every move. This. The people around Qingling are so familiar. I seem to have seen them somewhere before. I remember. It's Kendo Chinxin and Ning Rongrong. I didn't expect Qingling to meet people from the Seven Treasures Glass sect even after going out. My family's Qingling has always had good luck. Seeing Chen Qingling, Chen Xian, and Ning Rongrong getting along harmoniously in the sky, Chen Xinga's hanging heart also let go. It's okay. Immediately, Chen Xinga removed the canopy, as he did not have the habit of constantly peeping at others. He began to study his martial soul and first soul technique. My martial soul is the Xiaoyao sword. God bestows martial souls. What is the age limit? Hiss. The eternal soul ring. Is it that high to start with? It feels great to have cheats. The first soul skill, the heaven slaying sword technique. Chen Xinga waved his carefree sword and a breathtaking sword energy flew out, instantly cutting off the old tree that had been with him for over a decade at his doorstep. On the outskirts of the starry forest. 
Once Chen Qingling's first soul ring is completed, Chen Xian and his team set off on the road to search for a suitable soul beast for Ning Rongrong. The journey was smooth sailing, and I don't know if it was thanks to Chen Qingling's aura of luck, but he hardly encountered any soul beasts. On the contrary, it takes only a few efforts to find a suitable soul beast. Ning Rongrong's first soul ring has landed, a 400-year-old galloping horse. Chin Qin couldn't help but praise him, I really took in an amazing disciple. Chen Qingling smiled and said, My luck has always been good, and I have never been plagued by bad luck. By the way, Rongrong, what is your martial soul? Me. Just an ordinary seven treasures glass pagoda. Immediately, Ning Rongrong spread out her hands and a colorful seven treasures glass pagoda appeared in her palm. What about soul skills? Ning Rongrong smiled sweetly and said, I am a natural auxiliary soul master, and my soul skills have no killing power at all. But the auxiliary ability is one of the best in mainland China. The seven treasures are famous, one is called strength. I saw a beam of light falling on Chen Qingling, instantly increasing her strength and speed. The goddess of light is possessed by a butterfly. Chen Qingling's back grew blue wings and flew back and forth in mid-air. The strength has increased. Rongrong, your seven treasures glass pagoda is very helpful. Ning Rongrong proudly looked up and straightened his chest, supporting his waist with one hand. Humph, of course. I am also the daughter of the head of the Seven Treasures Glass sect. In the future, I will definitely be the strongest in the sect and the strongest auxiliary soul master in the mainland. Okay, okay. Watching the two frolicking and frolicking, Chen Xian laughed heartily. After a while, Chen Xin waved her hand and said, All right, Qin Ling, come down. We need to go back. Okay. Chen Qingling fell to the ground with a hopeful expression, Master, can you help me find my mother when you go back? Don't worry, Master. I have a good memory and won't forget it. I will definitely do what I want to help you do and never break my promise. With the calming pill of Chen Qin, Chen Qingling's suspended heart also fell. Chen Qin raised her head and watched as the sky gradually darkened, her eyebrows furrowed slightly. I can't go back today, let's find a place to rest. The group casually found a cave and settled down, while Chen Qin skillfully set up a bonfire for warmth. Ning Rongrong took out a pile of delicious food from the spatial soul guide and shared it with Chen Qingling. Qingling, stop staring and eat quickly. Aren't you hungry? Chen Qingling took the food handed by Ning Rongrong and looked at the bracelet on her jade hand. What is this? I forgot to introduce it to Qingling. My bracelet is a spatial soul guide with a storage space of a full cubic meter. Chen Qingling's eyes shone brightly. It takes all sorts to make a world what she couldn't have imagined, there are things in the outside world. Sure enough, there is nothing wrong with my own determination. I really need to go out and see the world, and there's also a chance to find my mother. After finishing, Chen Qingling and Ning Rongrong fell asleep heartlessly. Chen Qin is guarding them to ensure that no soul beasts enter. The next morning, Chen Qin woke up Chen Qingling and Ning Rongrong, took them on the road, and left the starry forest. On the way, Chen Qingling suddenly felt something extra in his pocket. Upon taking it out, it was undoubtedly the same bracelet as Ning Rongrong. The bracelet was naturally signed in by Chen Shunga the next day. Chen Qingling injected soul power to examine the bracelet and said, Wow, my bracelet is bigger than yours, it's 50 cubic meters. Ah! Ning Rongrong was bewildered. The dust of being a master is also very confused. No, Qingling, how can your pocket occasionally transform into something? The last time was a stone, this time it's a spatial soul guide. My dad should have done it. Ah. For a while. What kind of person is your father? Sending things through the air. Even the title, Dolua, cannot achieve this. Ning Rongrong and Chen Xian were deeply moved. End of this chapter. 
is difficulty God in chapter 4. Worshipping and envious Ning Rongrong. Tilt. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Is difficulty God in chapter 4. Worshipping and envious Ning Rongrong. A stunning beauty who is both beautiful and beautiful having experienced strong winds and waves, Qin Xin became curious about Qin Qingling's father for the first time. Qingling, what exactly is your father? As far as I know, the title Dolua cannot deliver items across the air, even the most advanced Dolua cannot. Speaking of which, Chen Xian's heart thumped. Is there a possibility? Chen Qingling's father is not titled Dolua. But a god in the legend of Dolua continent. As soon as the wild thoughts arose, Chen's heart was cut off. Impossible. Chen Qingling's father can never be a god. Perhaps delivering items across the air is his martial soul's ability. After all, the abilities of martial souls are diverse, and there will always be one or two surprising martial souls. Chen Qingling blinked her eyes, shook her small head, and pondered for a moment. Um. My dad. He's a very powerful person, there's nothing he can't do. Chen Qingling generously praised his father. A boastful statement without making a draft was believed to be true by Qin Xin and Ning Rongrong. A faint light flickered in Chen Xian's eyes, there's nothing he can't do. If given the opportunity, I would really like to see the true face of Qingling's father and what kind of person he would be. Chen Qingling said, but my dad never likes to interact with outsiders. Is that so? This is a more steadfast belief that only the strong have a peculiar and unpredictable temperament. Ning Rongrong's eyes were full of admiration, and there was a strong sense of envy in the air. Qingling, it's great of you to have such a powerful father. All right, all right, get ready. We should leave the starry forest. Okay. Chen Qingling was dancing excitedly, this was her first time visiting the outside world. The group didn't walk for long before taking the pre-arranged luxury car. Chen Qingling sat in his first luxury car, smiling throughout the journey and gazing at the scenery outside the car curtain. Wow, is this the outside world? How beautiful! Chen Qing gave a faint smile and reached out to point at Chen Qingling, laughing happily. Don't rush back to your sect on this trip. When you arrive at the Heavenly Dou Imperial City, I will take you on a bustling street. Okay. Chen Qingling's excited heart and trembling hands. Half a day later. The luxury car drove into the Tiendo Imperial City. On the bustling streets, there can be constant sounds of cheers and excitement. Get off the car, Qingling. You need to follow us closely and don't get lost. Got it. Three people got off the car and walked on the bustling street, with a dazzling array of goods on both sides of the street. Seeing Chen Qingling's small eyes shining brightly, she was full of curiosity about everything here. Cluck, how's it going? Are you curious about everything here? Chen Qingling nodded and said, The outside world is clearly very exciting, but my dad has deceived me for so long. It's so despicable. When I retrieve my mother, I must make sure to teach my father a hard lesson. She is truly a great filial daughter. Immediately after, Chen Qingling's gaze was firmly attracted by a delicate hair clip on the stall. Take a good look. The boss at the stall smiled and praised Chen Qingling fiercely. Miss, you have a good eye. This hair clip is made of white jade and jade, it is a rare item. Miss, you have a beautiful face that matches perfectly with your hairpin. It's made by heaven. How much is it? Ning Rongrong interrupted, she had seen too many people like this before. How good it is to hype it up, but in reality, you know what it is and just want to sell it for a good price. But one thing is right. Chen Qingling's beautiful face. A plain and unadorned outfit, yet unable to conceal a delicate and pretty face. If Haoxing dresses up well, she will definitely be a stunning beauty. Even the pampered Ning Rongrong was extremely envious of Chen Qingling's appearance and figure. End of this chapter. Chapter 5 
The shocking Ning Fengji, the name of Chen Xing's song. Suspected to be. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 5. The shocking Ning Fengji, the name of Chen Xing's song. Suspected to be a reclusive powerhouse. Huh, the white jade hair clip. Got a gold soul coin. Transaction. Ning Rongrong casually took out a golden soul coin from his pocket and placed it on the booth, giving the hair clip as a gift to Chen Qingling. I'll give you my hair clip as a gift when we meet. Aha. Uh -huh. Chen Qingling's eyes lit up, and he took the hairpin and looked left and right, very fond of it. Wearing a hair clip, she already has a pure face, adding a touch of girlishness. Ning Rongrong was stunned. This is the most beautiful girl she has ever seen, like a fairy walking out of a portrait, emerging from the mud without staining. Standing with Chen Qingling, Ning Rongrong felt a wild inferiority complex in his heart. Let's go back to the Seven Treasures Glass Sect. Seven Treasure Glass Sect, Council Hall. The head of the sect, Ning Fengji, sat on the throne, leisurely drinking tea. Qinxin and his group walked in. This is. Qinxin took the lead in explaining, Fengji, she was the one I met in the starry forest. What? Ning Fengji, who was drinking tea, almost sprayed out, looking surprised. A little girl alone in the starry forest. What is the star forest? Soul beasts roam everywhere, and even a slight mistake may lead to the title Dolua falling into it, let alone a little girl with no strength to bind a chicken. Is there something extraordinary about it? Ning Fengji released her soul power perception and immediately understood the strength of the little girl in her heart. A soul master who has just obtained a soul ring. Ning Rongrong chuckled and said, Hee hee, I knew you would have this expression, Dad. Back then, Grandpa Jian and I met Qingling just like you. Ning Fengji, sitting in his seat, tried hard to calm his heart, Uncle Sword. Ha ha ha, Fengji, don't worry, I'll slowly explain it to you. She is Chen Qingling, my disciple of the swordsmanship world, Chen Xin. Dot. What? Ning Fengji could no longer sit still and stood up in shock. His gaze was divided into three parts and he looked at Chen Qingling in surprise. Being accepted as an apprentice by a swordsman named Qin Xin proves that Qin Qingling's talent is definitely not inferior. What the Seven Treasures Glass sect lacks the most is not a strong person like Sword Dolua Qin Xin. If cultivated well, it can also add strength. Okay, okay. The martial soul is something that has never been recorded on the mainland, named the Butterfly of the Goddess of Light, with innate soul power. Innate full of soul power. Ning Feng widened his eyes and looked at Chen Qingling intently. I wonder if your father has a noble name. What does an innate full soul power represent? He is a rare genius in a hundred years. It has the capital to become a title doluo. Such a person who is taken in by Chen Xin as an apprentice will surely become a great master in the future. Chen Xin and Ning Rongrong were shocked and they never asked who Chen Qingling's father was from beginning to end. Perhaps there have been records of him on the mainland. But this is just Chen Xin's conjecture. After all, how can a strong person who chooses to avoid the world leave a mark in the secular world? For a moment, three eyes fell on Chen Qingling together. Ah! Uh, don't look at me like that. Being stared at by so many eyes, Chen Qingling felt very uncomfortable and uncomfortable. Cough, cough, cough. Chinchin let out a light cough to ease the momentary awkward atmosphere. My father's name is Chen Shinga. The empty conference hall echoed with the name of Chen Shinga, which lingered in the hearts of Ning Fengji and the three of them for a long time. Ning Feng's mind was spinning and spinning, unable to recall the impression of this person, as if appearing out of thin air. And Chinchin frowned. As he expected, there was no trace of this number one figure on the mainland, and it was impossible to appreciate the charm of the reclusive powerhouse. Ning Rongrong became increasingly curious about Chen Qingling's father and wanted to unveil his mysterious veil and meet him once. She didn't know her childhood thoughts would become obsession in the future. 
Dad, where's Grandpa Bone? Why didn't I see him? Ning Rongrong timely changed the topic and disrupted the tranquility. Uncle Bone. It should be almost done. Ning Fengji thought of Gu Rong's realization a few days ago and broke through the seclusion. Ha ha ha, I came at the right time. Rong Rong, have you missed me? Resuming updates tomorrow, end of this chapter. Chapter 6 Dust Heart, Let's Compare You need to ask Qingling if she can answer or not. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 Dust Heart, Let's Compare You need to ask Qingling if she agrees. The greatly shocked Ning Fengji and Gu Rong Upon hearing a familiar voice coming from behind, Ning Rongrong's mouth curled up unconsciously, Grandpa Bone. Rongrong misses you. After speaking, without looking for anyone behind him, he turned around and accurately threw himself into Gu Rong's arms. Ha ha ha, let me see if Rongrong, who hasn't seen you in five days, has become thin. Seeing Ning Rongrong safe and sound, Gu Rong's hanging heart also fell. At this moment, he noticed that there was also a little girl beside Chen Xian. Ha! Chen Xin, those around you. She is my disciple, Chen Qingling, the goddess of martial spirit and brightness, butterfly, with innate soul power. Gu Rong's pupils dilated, his mouth slightly opened, and his expression was astonished. Innate full soul power. A rare genius in a century. Sword Bone, what kind of luck are you? You should be able to receive a disciple with extraordinary talent. Chinchin hugged her chest with both hands, and a rare smile appeared on her face. What? You're not jealous, are you? Gu Rong snorted and turned her head away, out of sight and out of mind. Since they got to know each other, they have been arguing both openly and secretly. Those who can compete will do their best to compete and strive for a high and low position. Seemingly contradictory, in reality, there is an iron-like brotherhood. As the focus of the topic, Chen Qingling remained silent throughout the entire conversation, her eyes curiously gazing at the luxurious conference hall. She had never seen such a luxurious place before. Sure enough, the outside world is good. Chen Qingling was grateful that she could go outside and take a look, and also use it to find her mother's whereabouts. With the support of the Seven Treasures Glass sect, it shouldn't be too difficult to find my mother's whereabouts. Gu Rong remained silent for a moment, engaged in ideological struggle, and spoke leisurely. How about comparing swords bones with ours again? Compared to what? Who can teach Qingling better than others? What do you think? The Ning wind on the main position leads to chaos in the wind. He knew that his innate soul power had a great attraction, but he never expected that two titled Dolua would compete to recruit him. Throughout the history of Dolua continent, it has always been a precedent. It is a great honor to be accepted as apprentices by two titled Dolua. However, it was such a good thing for Qingling that Qinxin shook her head, indicating her attitude. This is not something that I, as a master, can decide. You need to ask Qingling if she agrees. If she doesn't agree, I can't do anything about it. Immediately, Gu Rong looked at Chen Qingling with a smile on her face, trying to make her feel as amiable as possible. Qingling, are you willing to be my disciple of Gu Rong? Ning Rong Rong. No, why? Why is Grandpa Jian's attitude towards himself much worse than before after having his disciple Qingling? Now even Grandpa Bone will leave with her. For a moment, Ning Rongrong couldn't accept it in his heart. Why did it become like this now? Is it because I am not outstanding enough? Is it far inferior to Qingling? The past pride and arrogance are completely shattered at this moment. In terms of talent, she is not as good as Qingling, in terms of strength, and in terms of background, she is far inferior. I am nothing in front of Chen Qingling, just a scumbag. And in terms of personality, I have always been a stubborn and stubborn little witch. Qingling, on the other hand, has a gentle personality, the all-dot-round attack on Ning Rongrong can be called a dimensionality reduction strike. 
No wonder Grandpa Sword and Grandpa Bone tend to lean towards Qinling. Chen Xian and Gu Rong were unaware of their love for talent, which misled Ning Rong Rong. At this moment, she is determined to have a showdown with Chen Qingling. Only when there is pressure can there be motivation. This. Chen Qingling's eyes dodged and he hesitated to speak. Qingling, you need to think carefully. I can also do what Sword Bone can do. There are two titled Doloa helpers for you, why worry about not being able to accomplish anything? Chen Qingling didn't listen to any of the previous nonsense, but the final worry of not being able to accomplish anything caught her eye. It doesn't matter whether Chen Qingling pays respects or not. What she wants is to be able to find her mother's whereabouts faster. Okay. But you need to help me find my mother's whereabouts. No problem, not to mention one thing. I can do even ten things. Gu Rong smiled and patted Chen Xian's shoulder. Did you see that Qin Ling is also my disciple? Chen Xin said, what's worth boasting about? It depends on who teaches well. Moreover, with Qin Ling's talent, even without the intervention of our two title Dolua, she could still achieve one of the top title Dolua in the future. Gu Rong's pupils suddenly shrank but he had never heard Chen Xian evaluate a person so highly. I couldn't help but take a few more glances at Chen Qingling, and the more I looked, the more I felt it was not simple. Sword Bone, what is Qingling's origin? A person living in the starry forest, her father is a reclusive powerhouse who can deliver items across the sky. Ah! Gu Rong and Ning Feng were shocked. What did they hear? Delivery through air. This is too exaggerated, isn't it? Chen Xian, are you not joking? Chen Xin shook her head, with a solemn expression that didn't seem like a joke. This immediately made Ning Fengji and Gu Rong curious about Chen Qingling's father. What kind of reclusive powerhouse is capable of delivering items across the air? That. I want to find my mother again. Chen Qingling never forgot the purpose of coming to the Seven Treasures Glass sect from beginning to end. Okay, okay, no problem. I will activate the power of the Seven Treasures Glass sect to find your mother's whereabouts. I'm afraid it's not easy to find. There's nothing about the name, appearance, or features. This is undoubtedly looking for a needle in a haystack. But if you don't find it, you'll never find it in your lifetime. It's getting late, you're tired of the journey, Qingling. Rongrong, could you please arrange accommodation for Qingling? Okay, Qingling, let's go. Ning Rongrong took Chen Qingling's hand and strode out of the conference hall. Stepping out of the conference hall, Chen Qingling stared intently at the surrounding buildings. Is this the Seven Treasures Glass Sect? It's so grand and spectacular. Thinking of living in a thatched cottage all along, Chen Qingling felt sour and envied Ning Rongrong's privileged environment. But she didn't know that Ning Rongrong also envied herself. Chen Qingling can't quite understand why his father wants to avoid the world. Does it mean he doesn't like the outside world? Or perhaps it's because I hurt my heart in the outside world and chose not to leave. Amidst the hype of outsiders, Chen Qingling mistakenly believed that his father was truly a reclusive powerhouse. She made up her mind and set three small goals for herself. Become stronger, find your mother, and uncover the mysterious veil of your father. Chen Qingling feels good about herself and considers herself a filial son. Qingling. 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 Ah. Chen Qingling's thoughts were pulled back by Ning Rongrong's cries. What's wrong, Rongrong? I called you so many times, but Qingling didn't respond. I thought you were shocked by the architecture of the Seven Treasures Glass Sect. Um. It's just a bit of a stretch. Let's go, before it gets dark, I'll take you through the Seven Treasures Glass Sect first. End of this chapter. Chapter 7 that unruly and capricious little witch has grown up. Weigh in. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 7 That unruly and capricious little witch has grown up. The image of Weigh in. 
Qingling, let's take a shower together. Ning Rongrong held Qin Qingling's hand and took her on a tour of the iconic architecture of the Seven Treasures Glass Sect, chatting and laughing along the way. As the sun sets in the west, the two women wander like scenic lines. This scene is full of disbelief in the eyes of the disciples of the Seven Treasures Glass Sect. Ning Rongrong's notorious reputation is well dot known throughout the Seven Treasures Glass Sect, as a timid and cowardly witch. Therefore, not many children of the same age make friends with Ning Rongrong. But Chen Qingling's sudden arrival of a new face was able to blend in with the little witch Ning Rongrong. Can the disciples of the entire sect not find it unbelievable? I, why do I suddenly feel like the little witch has changed her personality after coming back? She looks so funny when she smiles. If only I could keep it going, I don't want to tolerate the little witch's mischief anymore. Shoo, keep it down. If you hear me, you must be unable to eat and walk around. The daughter of the patriarch should have grown. All right, shut up everyone. The daughter of the sect leader is not something we can talk about casually. Conference Hall Chinchin and Gurong stood in the direction of their departure, then exchanged a glance and burst into laughter. Ha ha ha. I didn't expect that through this incident, Rongrong has completely grown. Yeah, Rongrong is no longer the stubborn little witch she used to be. The world is unpredictable. A good person can really change another person. As titled Dolua, they have exceptional observation skills, but how could they not have noticed the subtle changes in Ning Rongrong's eyes? Ning Rongrong became sensible and mature, no longer being stubborn and stubborn. Chen Exian and Gu Rong felt happy from the bottom of their hearts. After all, they have always regarded Ning Rongrong as their own daughter. At this moment, Ning Fengji walked towards them from the main position at an unknown time. Sword Uncle and Bone Uncle, you two cultivate Qingling together. It's unlikely that a peerless and elegant title Dolua will be born soon. Qinxin carried her back with one hand and looked up at the sky. Qingling is by no means a thing in the pool. Being able to accept her ultimately comes down to having a clear and thoughtful mind, and relying on us makes it easier to find her mother. Ah, it's not easy to find it in the vast sea of people. Yeah. I'm quite curious about who Qingling's mother can be. If given the opportunity, I would really like to meet Qingling's father and see the charm of a reclusive powerhouse. The image of Chen Shinga is becoming increasingly majestic in the minds of Ning Fengji and the three of them. Seven Treasure Glass Sect Central Ning Rongrong pulled Chen Qingling to a luxurious villa and said, Oh, this is where you will live in the future. How's it going? Isn't it great? After watching too much, Chen Qingling became numb and nodded, Rongrong, thank you. You are so kind to me. What's there to thank? There's no need to be polite between us. Chen Qingling's eyes flickered with a faint light as she looked straight at Ning Rongrong. Rongrong, you are my first friend. Oh, don't say such cheesy words. We should be the best friends of our lives and never part ways. Playing around all the way, Chen Qingling and Ning Rongrong had thick and sticky clothes on their bodies. Ning Rongrong's eyes rolled and he made a quick decision. Qingling, why don't we take a shower together? Ah. Chen Qingling's pretty face blushed slightly, this. This. Not very good, right? Is there a problem? Ning Rongrong pulled Chen Qingling's wrist and said, What's wrong, what's the problem? We're all girls, and taking a shower together is not a big deal. But. There's nothing wrong with it. I forgot to prepare my clothes even when I ran away from home. The new book set sail, readers and gentlemen are seeking votes, comments, five-dot-star reviews, and tipping support. Your data is the driving force behind the author's code writing. Thank you. End of this chapter. Chapter 8 What's missing and what's free? Your father is a prophet. Recognition stem. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 8 What's missing and what's free?
Your father is a prophet. Recognize Godfather. Can you really grow up? I didn't bring any clothes. Ning Rongrong thought for a moment and soon realized that he still had a cabinet of clothes that he hadn't worn. It's okay, I still have a cabinet of clothes to wear, I can give them to you right away. This. Isn't that good, is it? Ning Rongrong smiled slightly and said, What's so embarrassing? What's the relationship between you and me? There's no need to worry about these things. What? You're not looking down on my clothes, are you? Chen Qingling shook her head, her voice full of gratitude, No, it's just that I've been bothering you all the time. I don't feel like it in my heart. Strictly speaking, they have only known each other for two days, but Ning Rongrong is so kind to herself. Whoever is good to oneself should keep in mind, and whoever is bad to oneself should seek revenge. This is Dad's education on Qingling. Thinking of this, Chen Qingling's eyes were slightly moist, Rongrong. Seeing tears welling up in Qingling's eyes, Ning Rongrong was frightened and said, Qingling, why are you crying? Nothing. Nothing, it's my eyes getting sand. All right, let's take a shower. Ning Rongrong pulled Chen Qingling's wrist and walked happily into the luxurious villa. In the heart of the starry forest, inside a thatched cottage. Without my daughter's thatched cottage, both inside and outside have become much quieter. Chen Qingda sat in a chair, holding a piece of blue silver grass in his mouth. Pooh! Being alone here is really quiet. When can I leave the system? Ding! To ensure the safety of the owner, only by cultivating Chen Qingling as the strongest in the mainland can the owner leave. Chen Qingda's eyes were profound, will you cultivate my daughter to be the strongest in mainland China? I think it won't be long before I can walk out. Having the talent of a check that I end system and a daughter, it only took a few years to become the strongest on the mainland. Chen Xingda has been living in a thatched cottage for over a decade, and there is no shortage of a few more years. Ding! It has been detected that the cultivation object Chen Qingling has no clothes to replace. Chen Xingda was suddenly aroused and stood up suddenly. I almost forgot that the girl was walking in a hurry and didn't bring any clothes to change, he said immediately, shamelessly walked into his daughter's chamber. This is Chen Xingda's first time walking into his daughter's boudoir, as simple and unadorned as a thatched cottage, but the room is filled with many lovely decorations. I didn't expect a mischievous girl to have this side as well. Chen Xing licked his lips, shook his head with a smile, and rummaged through the wardrobe to find several sets of clothes. I just wanted to use the system to send it to my daughter, but on second thought, I picked out more precious clothes. I still remember that Chen Qingling was with Chen Xian and the others, so as expected, he should have returned to the Seven Treasures Glass Sect. At the Seven Treasures Glass Sect, one must never wear anything too tacky. Chen Xinga looked at the carefully selected two sets of clothes and happily delivered them to his daughter, giving her a little surprise and surprise. Qibao Yuli Sect Central, Chen Qingling Villa Ning Rongrong took Chen Qingling's hand and arrived at the bathroom half the size of a basketball court, where various complete items were placed. Looking at the oversized bathroom, Chen Qingling froze in place. Ning Rongrong skillfully turned the switch and filled the bathtub with warm water. The clear water is ready, let's take a bath together. Ah! Good! At this moment, Chen Qingling suddenly felt as if there was something in her pocket. Thinking of the gifts her father quietly gave her two times before, she didn't hesitate to take them out. Two sets of clothing with extraordinary significance to Chen Qingling were taken out of their small pockets. Ning Rongrong's eyelids twitched beside him. Although he knew that Chen Qingling's father had great abilities, he still looked shocked when he saw him again. Wow, is your father and prophet. Even though he is not here, he can know what Qingling is missing and what to give. It's really nice, I really wish I had such a dad, Ning Rongrong said with envy on his face. Ning Fengji. So I'll go. Chen Qingling pouted and said, No, dad belongs to me alone. 
Immediately after, her eyes rolled and she thought of a clever trick, it's not impossible. You recognize my dad as your godfather and be his goddaughter. Ning Rongrong's eyes widened and he forgot to respond for a moment. If it were in the past, she would definitely refuse without even thinking about it. What is your identity? The princess of the Seven Treasures Glass Sect, the night pearl held in the palm of someone's hand, how can anyone be recognized as a godfather? But my godfather is Chin Qingling's father, and Ning Rongrong wouldn't even consider it, so just agree. Being able to take care of everything meticulously and give what is lacking to anyone who doesn't want it. Ning Rongrong took a deep breath and pursed his lips, saying, Qingling. Can I really? Will your dad not want me? Chen Qingling smiled and said, who knows, that's also going to happen in the future. My dad is also a reclusive powerhouse and won't go out at all. It's not easy to meet my dad, but we need to go deep into the star forest. Ah. It's also. Ning Rongrong lowered his head, his eyes dim. Even if we can see each other, it doesn't mean we're willing to accept ourselves as goddaughters. Moreover, these are all future matters and it's not her turn to worry now. She should grasp the present moment. Cherish the hard-won friends in front of you. This is Ning Rongrong's first intimate friend among his peers, and also Qingling's first intimate friend. Is Qingling ready? What is ready? Before he could finish speaking, he saw Ning Rongrong undress and walk into the bathtub, waving to Qingling. I, I'm here. Chen Qingling obediently learned from Ning Rongrong as she undressed and walked into the bathtub. Pupu Tong. The warm water soaked the skin, and Chen Qingling closed her eyes to enjoy. It's so comfortable. He 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 he, do you like to take a bath? I like it. Just like it, we girls need to learn to take care of our skin. Taking a bath is not only comfortable, but also moisturizes the skin, with many benefits. Rongrong, you know a lot. Of course, Ning Rongrong proudly looked up. You still have a lot to learn. Then, Ning Rongrong took advantage of his unpreparedness and splashed water on Chin Qingling. Ah, Rongrong, what are you doing? Chin Qingling also splashed water to fight back. Two beautiful looking girls were bathing and splashing water happily. After playing for a while, the two leaned against each other, and Chen Qingling's remaining light accidentally fell on Ning Rongrong's chest. Ah, Rongrong. You. It's so big. A word pierced through Ning Rongrong's thin face, causing him great embarrassment and frustration. Qingling. You. Hate it. Chen Qingling looked at her ordinary chest, pouting and feeling depressed. Why is there such a big difference between the two when they are six years apart? Perhaps seeing Chen Qingling's depressed heart, Ning Rongrong's words softened a bit. Qingling, don't be discouraged. It won't be long before you will grow up like me. Really? Chen Qingling's eyes lit up and she exclaimed in surprise. She was afraid that she would always be ordinary, so she had to have some height. End of this chapter. Chapter 9 is truly the daughter of a reclusive powerhouse. Abnormal talent. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 9 is truly the daughter of a reclusive powerhouse. Abnormal talent. Of course it's true, everyone's physique is different. After soaking in this bath for half an hour, the two of them reluctantly got dressed and walked out of the bathroom. After taking a bath, Chen Qingling felt her whole body go limp and sat directly on the sofa. Clear and clear, get up. What are you doing, Rongrong? I'm so sleepy and want to take a nap. Ning Rongrong saw that Chen Qingling was really tired, so he decided not to disturb her. I originally wanted to teach you how to meditate and enhance your soul power. Boost soul power. Chen Qingling, who was originally feeling drowsy, suddenly woke up and stood up. Rongrong, teach me how to meditate and enhance soul power. Are you not tired anymore? Ning Rongrong looked at Chen Qingling with a scrutinizing gaze, shaking her head. 
You are not tired anymore, Rong Rong taught me. Okay, okay. Ning Rong Rong quickly responded and immediately told Qing Ling how to meditate and enhance soul power, and demonstrated it to her on sight. Have you learned it? I have lost my studies. Chen Qing Ling was joking, and then he sat around learning from Ning Rong Rong, closing his eyes and gradually entering a state of meditation. In no time, Chen Qing Ling's soul power level was raised by one level, becoming a level 12 soul master. Ning Rong Rong no. Is this too outrageous? I went up one level directly in front of myself. How long have you been meditating? Promoted one level in less than five minutes. If it weren't for what he saw with his own eyes, Ning Rongrong wouldn't have believed there would be such a perverted existence in the world. She couldn't help but think that it would take several days for her to advance to the next level, and her defense line collapsed. Without comparison, there is no harm. People are really more popular than people. The pride that was already shattered to pieces, directly shattered to pieces. On second thought, I was relieved. After all, Qing Ling is the daughter of a reclusive powerhouse, and her talent is definitely unparalleled in the world. Just like a pervert in the eyes of ordinary people. After an unknown amount of time, Chen Qingling slowly opened her eyes and noticed that Ning Rongrong looked at her strangely. Rongrong, what's wrong with you? Why are you looking at me with such eyes? Chen Qingling was unaware of this and clearly did not realize that his soul power level had increased by one level. Ning Rongrong pursed his lips and said, Don't you feel like you've become stronger? After being reminded by Ning Rongrong, Chen Qingling later realized that she had an extra drop of soul power. Has my soul power level increased? Rongrong, this is too easy. Ning Rongrong had a black line on his face and opened his mouth. Qingling, you wouldn't really think that increasing your soul power level is an easy thing, would you? Chen Qingling blinked her innocent big eyes and said, isn't it? A sentence almost sent Ning Rongrong away. You're right, but generally speaking, it's not easy for soul masters to improve their soul power level. Take me as an example. Do you know how many days it took me to improve my soul power for the first time? A day. Ning Rongrong silently watched Chin Qingling. Those two days. It can't be any longer, can it? Ning Rongrong took a deep breath and resisted the urge to hit someone. Three and a half days. This is still when my innate soul power is at level 9. If someone else wants to spend more time, you think it's easy to improve their soul power. Chen Qingling opened her mouth and awkwardly touched the back of her head, giving a dry laugh. Rongrong, don't be angry. I didn't mean to accidentally hit you. Ning Rongrong rolled his eyes in frustration and said, All right, all right, I'm leaving. Take a good rest tonight. The new book set sail, readers and gentlemen are seeking votes, comments, five-dot-star reviews, and tipping support. Your data is the driving force behind the author's code writing. Thank you. End of this chapter. Chapter 10 The Ten Core Competitions of Martial Soul Master, I want to leave now. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 10 The Ten Core Competitions of Martial Soul Master, I want to leave now. Brain tonics are the most deadly. Ah. Rongrong, please walk slowly. Watching Ning Rongrong leave, Chen Qingling couldn't wait to enter meditation again. In order to travel the mainland in search of close relatives, she must become strong enough. Mother, I will definitely find you back. I will definitely take you back and recognize your father. Starry Forest Corps, Thatched Cottage. Ding! Congratulations to the master for raising Chen Qing's soul power level by one level. Ding! Trigger tenfold backfeeding. Ding! Congratulations on increasing the master's soul power level by five levels. Chen Shinga stood still for a few seconds, looking up at the deep night sky with a bitter smile. This girl. She's really tough. 
But shouldn't 10 times back feeding be level 10? How come it's only level 5? Master. The cultivation object Chen Qingling has a low realm and the amount of soul power improvement is too small to be able to reach 10 levels in a row. Chen Qingling's eyelids twitched. Playing word games. Just level 5, don't do anything yourself. Even upgrading to level 5 is not bad. Time passed by in a blink of an eye, and the next morning arrived. The first ray of sunlight shone through the window into the room, and the righteous light shone on Chen Qingling's exquisite and beautiful cheeks. Perhaps feeling a warm breath from her cheeks, Chen Qingling opened her beautiful eyes. Wow! Is it the next morning so soon? I felt like I was meditating for a while, but in the blink of an eye, it was the next day. Chen Qingling stretched lazily and got up from the sofa. Although I haven't slept all night and have been meditating to enhance my soul power, I haven't felt sleepy at all. Instead, I feel refreshed and refreshed. Dong dong dong. A knock on the door rang out. Here we go. Chen Qingling stepped forward and opened the door. The person who came was Ning Rongrong, wearing a light blue short skirt. Ning Rongrong hugged her chest with both hands and stared at her intently. To be honest, Qingling, have you been meditating all night and haven't slept at all? Ah. Yes. How could I not sleep? Chen Qingling touched the back of her head, her eyes dodging and afraid to look directly. Seeing her guilty demeanor, Ning Rongrong knew whether she had slept last night. You, you, don't even see if your body can support it. Seeing Chen Qingling being exposed, he stopped pretending and showcased his skills. I feel pretty good, I'm not tired at all, he said, ha ha ha. Rongrong, stop talking. Didn't you also be like Qingling in the beginning? At this moment, Chen Qin's sword flew over. Grandpa Jian, can you stop talking about my dark history? It's so annoying. Looking at the playful Ning Rongrong, Chen Xian's face was filled with a smile. Master. Chen Xin nodded and said, Qingling, Rongrong is right. You are still young, and as a teacher, it is not recommended for you to meditate tirelessly during the stage of growing your body. At the same time, Ning Rongrong, who was beside Chen Qingling, made a grimace and provocatively pointed to his bulging chest. Angered, Chen Qingling pouted and said, I know now. I won't continue to meditate tirelessly to enhance my soul power. As a teacher, I can actually teach you not much, but your soul master knowledge reserve is insufficient. So, I will personally explain the knowledge points of soul masters to you. Rong Rong, don't leave yet. Stay and consolidate your knowledge, so as not to be left behind by you. In the afterglow of the dust, I glanced at Ning Rongrong who wanted to leave and spoke leisurely. Ah. I don't think it's necessary, Grandpa Jian. I have memorized all that knowledge and can't forget it at all. Hmm. Chin Xin changed her previous kindness, her eyes serious. Rong Rong listens attentively to Grandpa Jian's teachings. Chin Xin nodded slightly, and immediately gave the knowledge points of the soul master specifically to Chin Qingling. At noon. After explaining for two and a half hours, Chen Xian finished his explanation endlessly. Chen Qingling listened throughout, afraid of missing something. Ning Rongrong listened for a while before running away. Master, the top ten core competencies of martial soul are very impressive. Hee <laughs> hee. The top ten core competencies of martial souls are nothing, it's just a junior who integrates hundreds of volumes of content and concocts a book called, The Top Ten Core Competitions of Martial Souls. This is of little use to various major sects, but it is easier for ordinary soul masters to understand. By the way, Qingling, I have used the power of the Seven Treasures Glass sect to search for your mother on a wide web. Thank you, Master. Chen Qingling lowered her head and hesitated for a long time. She wanted to leave the Seven Treasures Glass sect, but didn't know how to speak. How about quietly Mimi? It's not good to just leave these days, thanks to the care of Qin Xin and them. Qingling, what are you thinking? 
Master, I want to leave now. Chen Qingling hesitated for a while before choosing to speak his mind. Chen Xian felt a thud in his heart and said, You just arrived at the Seven Treasure Glass Sect and are leaving so soon. Is it because the Seven Treasure Glass Sect did something wrong? Chen Qingling shook her head and said, No, everyone in the Seven Treasures Glass Sect is very kind to me, but I don't want to be in a corner. But. It's too dangerous for you to wander alone outside. Chen Qingling shook her head and smiled lightly, Qingling is not afraid. I have always protected my father. Chen Qing hesitated to speak, he didn't know what to say. There is a mysterious and unpredictable reclusive father who can protect his daughter's safety even if he is not by his side. Thinking about it is heart-wrenching. Gollum Gollum. Chen Qingling's stomach sounded a hunger alarm, and her pretty face turned slightly red. Let's finish our meal and leave. Remember to say goodbye to Romrom. Thank you, Master, for completing it. Immediately, Qin Xin took Qin Qingling to the cafeteria for a meal. Qingling can eat whatever she wants, no need to be polite. Mmm hmm. Qin Qingling's eyes lit up as she watched the various delicacies in the cafeteria, and she swallowed uncontrollably. Conference Hall Chen Xian hurriedly flew over with his imperial sword, and saw Ning Fengji and Gu Rong chatting happily. Uncle Jian, aren't you teaching Qingling? How did you get here? Gu Rong grinned and said, isn't it that I don't have to teach anymore? If it's really not possible, I'll go teach. Chen Xin sighed and said, I have already taught everything that needs to be taught. Just. Qingling is leaving. What? Sitting on the chair, Ning Fengji and Gu Rong were shocked and stood up. Uncle Jian, what do you mean? Sword Bones explained clearly, why did Qingling leave? Isn't it good to be in the Seven Treasures Glass Sect? Chen Xian lifted her head and straightened her chest, looking up at the horizon. Qingling doesn't want to stay in a corner. From what I see, she wants to wander outside and travel the mainland. Isn't this nonsense? Can a twelve-year-old child wander around? Chin Xin turned around and stood with her hands down. She may not be able to do it to others, but Qingling can. Behind her, there is a powerful figure who silently protects her from the world. You should know that Qingling was able to escape and scathe from the perilous starry forest, proving that the reclusive powerhouse behind her was powerful enough to walk sideways. Qingling's wandering outside alone can be said to be without any danger. As is well known, brain tonics are the most deadly. End of this chapter